So the fight everybody originally wanted between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk has apparently been signed for December 23rd. And the real funny thing about this is that Tyson Fury's fight against Francis Nugano hasn't been cancelled or anything. It's still going ahead, but <laughs> Tyson Fury is just quite literally just overlooking Francis Nugano. It's pretty funny. Like, uh, I guess he's seen the the videos of Francis Nugano hitting pads, and he was like, "Oh fuck, I got nothing to worry about." <laughs> he's like, "Oh shit, all right, might as well go book the Usyk uh, Usyk fight so I have some motivation in camp." I will say, you know, never overlook anybody, even if it is. Uh, you know, Francis Nogano, who's moving at 0 0.5 speed. He's still very powerful, but generally I'd probably give a 56-year-old Mike Tyson a better shot at beating Tyson Fury. If you've seen that video, Tyson, uh, Mike Tyson was much faster than Nogano. Maybe it's a trick from Francis, but I don't know. But this is really weird for Tyson Fury to sign this and announce it and everything because... There was not really much hype for Francis Nugano versus Tyson Fury. Maybe maybe there is some hype in the UK or Ghana, but I haven't seen anyone really like going, oh, I can't wait for Ty Tyson Fury versus Francis Nugano. Like, I haven't seen anybody make any comments like that or seen any posts or tweets or videos or anything saying that they're excited for Francis Nugano versus Tyson Fury. But it's really weird for him to announce this because now there is literally going to be even less hype. Like, I don't think there's anybody out there who was more hyped for Francis Nugano versus Tyson Fury than they are for Tyson Fury versus Alexander U Usyk. You know, like, Usyk versus Fury has been the fight that people wanted to see for, like, almost two years now. When did when did uh, Usyk beat Anthony Joshua the first time? I think that was 2021. And that, that was really what started it. Cause, you know, we all wanted to see Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. But then Anthony Joshua lost to Usyk. It was... So 2021, yeah, the first time he lost to him. And then he beat him in August 2022. So yeah, after that, you know, nobody really was talking about Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. Like, it's still, it's still a fight people want to see, but... Usyk versus Fury became the fight that everyone wanted to see, and now he's, he's like, they've literally confirmed it. It is signed and agreed from both of them. Still, I wouldn't hold my breath knowing how boxing is. Somehow it won't happen, probably. But the fact that it is signed is apparently going ahead. Just completely, <laughs> completely ruins. Just ruins any hype that Francis Nagano versus Tyson Fury might have had. Maybe the maybe the hype got ruined when people seen the video of Francis Nugadu uh, hitting pads because yeah that that probably ruined anyone who was like you know he's got a he could go out there like Deontay Wilder and maybe land a lucky punch it's like no he's a lot slower than Wilder I'd say less powerful than Wilder he weighs more than Wilder but Wilder has some like freakish power for how big he is and he's a lot quicker a lot more technical in boxing. I know there's like a narrative that Wilder has like no boxing ability, but compared to Francis Nugano, he's Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> you know, like with his skill level, he's, he's a lot more skilled than Francis Nugano. Nugano is just going to get jabbed up, uppercutted. He's probably going to get beat up really badly. Now, don't get me wrong. I could be completely wrong here. Maybe Francis Nugano lands a big haymaker, knocks Tyson Fury out cold completely kills the Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk fight. Maybe maybe after October 28th, we'll be talking about Francis Nugano versus Alexander Usyk. Who knows? But I do, I do doubt that. I doubt that very much. But, you know, crazy things have happened. I, I, I generally, I think I would have Francis Nugano beating Tyson Fury as the biggest upset in boxing because he isn't a boxer. He is an MMA fighter. His MMA boxing wasn't even that good. He's just very powerful. Like, he doesn't have any technique. He just has power. Uh, so him to actually go out there and knock out Tyson Fury, one of the, you know, one of the, you know, he's up there, one of the best heavyweights of all time, would be fucking batshit insane. But, you know, it is the year of the underdog, so maybe, maybe Francis Nugano is going to be the man that ruins the super fight. 
places, belts not even on the line. So Francis Nugano uh, does go out there and knock out Tyson Fury. The belts aren't even up for grabs. Like there is no stakes in this fight. Like, like literally no stakes. Uh, I guess the only stake is if Francis Nugano wins. And I guess Tyson Fury versus Usyk won't be happening. Which would be really annoying if Francis Nugano goes in there and ruins that fight. But yeah, I I, uh, I generally think Tyson Fury is just completely overlooking him. But I actually think it's sort of warranted. Like Francis Nugano was a big scary man. You know, he's very powerful, but his boxing ability is nada compared to anyone else Tyson Fury's for. Like he doesn't have much boxing ability. He's older than Tyson Fury too, I believe. I think Nugano's like 36, so he's older. You know, he's taking up a new sport. In boxing, he's never competed in boxing before. He's 37 years old. You know, he's he's a much older guy compared to Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, you know, he doesn't look it, but he's he's 35. You know, he's two years younger than Nugano. I just think, you know, this is just too much to ask from Francis. Even Fury's even got the longer reach, like. Like, everything in this fight <laughs> is in Tyson Fury's advantage. The boxing ability, the experience in boxing, the youth, the reach. The only thing that Nugano has is the power, but we don't... You know, I watched his kickboxing fights, which, you know, has the same sort of gloves he'd be wearing in boxing. His power is so much more limited in kickboxing with them with them gloves so i imagine it'll be the same in boxing so his power is going to be less so it's just nothing in this fight favors him at all it's just it's a very unfortunate <laughs> unfortunate fight for the for the poor man but you know this is the, the another thing i wanted to mention this is like the biggest fight for francis nugano's career like this is like his biggest payday like, this is a massive opportunity for him. And for Tyson Fury, this is just like another tune-up fight because he's literally booking another fight in the meantime. But, yeah, you know, completely overlooking him, but I think it is warranted in this case. Like, I don't I don't give Francis Nugano any chance of winning this fight. Like, now, you can mark my words. I could be wrong here, but I don't think so. I, I'm, I'm very... I, gar I almost guarantee Tyson Fury is going to win this. I just can't see Francis Ngannou with bad knees as well. You know, he's he had to get knee surgery and everything. He's not going to be as quick and as powerful as he was against like Josinho Rosenstruck. You know, he's not going to come out there and blitz Tyson Fury. Even if he does, Tyson Fury's head movement is so good. I can just see him missing every shot. <sighs> yeah, I I just don't see this going well for Ngannou, but. You know, if, if Francis Nugano was the man to go out there and ruin the Usyk Fury super fight, that would be the most fucking annoying thing ever. Like, generally, that would piss me off so much, man. Like, we finally have it sealed, signed. It's finally, apparently, going to happen. You know, touch wood, apparently, Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk is going to happen. And here comes Tyson Fury, slinging haymakers to ruin it all. Here he comes, no technique, swinging his arms like an idiot. And then he wins. He, he ruins the super fight. Like, I, I can just see it happening, but logically it won't happen. Please, no. Like, please don't tell me. If Francis Nugano is 0 on 0 in boxing, goes out there and takes Tyson Fury's O, I, I don't understand combat sports anymore. But I, I am excited for Tyson Fury versus Usyk. Let's hope it happens, but... I do, I do think this is all warranted in Tyson Fury for taking another fight, especially a massive fight, you know, like versus him versus Alexander Usyk. Everybody's wanted to see this fight, you know, but he's completely ruined the hype for this Nugano fight. I can't see this fight doing many pay-per-views. Like, generally, I don't think it's going to do very well. Because, uh, like, there was no hype for it originally, and now you've gone and booked, the, like, the most hyped fight, one of the most hyped fights in all of combat sports, like, nobody's going to give a shit about your fight versus Nugano now, like, surely he could have waited till he beats Nugano, but, I don't know, it's weird, but, you know, at least, I guess he has a tune-up, I guess, but, weird, I don't know, weird timing to, like, announce it and everything, because now, 
Like, generally, maybe I'm wrong in this, but I, I feel like it devalues the whole new guy. Like, like, people are going to be like, well, you know, Tyson Fury doesn't even see this guy as a threat. Why should we see this as a threat to Tyson Fury? But, you know, maybe maybe him overlooking him is going to go to his detriment. Maybe this is going to cost him the fight, but I doubt it. But still interesting timing. For a man who's meant to be like a marketing genius, I don't think this is great timing to announce it, but maybe it was going to come out anyway, so I guess there was no stopping it. But weird timing, but at least it's announced. Uh, yeah, poor Francis Nagano. I think he's going to get fucked up, and Tyson Fury's not, he's not even seeing him as a threat, it appears. So, like, it's just even worse for Nagano. Like, this guy's taking you as a tune up fight while well, this is like the biggest fight of your combat sports career. Like, that has got to sting a little bit. Like, maybe this is going to motivate Francis Nogano to just have that dog in him and just keep coming forward, but I think he's going to take a pretty bad beating here against Tyson Fury, and I think he's going to get finished. But, you know, on paper, Tyson Fury should win this fight, but fights aren't fought on paper. They're fought on fucking flukiness and randomness nowadays. So, you know... Somehow Nugano is going to get like a fucking 10th round TKO. Or somehow Nugano is going to win a decision against Tyson Fury. Knowing how weird combat sports is. But still, we'll see what happens on the date. And yeah, if you made it this far in the video, make sure to give it a like. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think Tyson Fury is overlooking Francis Nugano? And do you think it's warranted? Or do you think this is going to come to his detriment? And do you think Francis Nugano is going to pull off the big upset? And if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.